Welcome back to another video at Big Money Outdoors and today we are going to be talking about making rabbit habitat and solving your invasive tree species problem on your own property and how you can kill two birds with one stone doing this and uh, you, you'll see improvements in habitat. So hope you enjoy. This should be a quick one. All right, so today we're gonna to be doing some cutting of an invasive species in order to provide better habitat for critters that we wanna hunt and pursue and just, just to see wildlife out in the woods. And uh, you'll understand why these are invasive once I show them to you. But as you can see in this, in this shot right here, see how open this is? But look how covered it is up top. Now the sunlight, has to come down in order for the undergrowth to grow. Well, what's choking them out? As you can see, these giant bushes of invasive species, which is typically typically shown by a bunch of different uh, stems coming out of the root right there. I believe that's how you would describe them. But you can see how they cover up all this sun and you can see how there's pretty well just tunnels back in here of no cover so it's better to have it cut and provide brush piles like that over there than to have it all open like it is in here so let's go ahead and get to cutting and uh, getting some of this taken care of All right, so a lot of this has to do with edges. So let me go ahead and describe that to you. So an edge is a difference um, in habitat, basically. So the cornfield to this tall grass, that's an edge, that's a very hard edge. The grass to this wood, or these woods right here, is a hard edge as well. So what animals like is to live on edges, likes to have habitat to to hide in, be safe in, especially rabbits, quail, turkey, and fawns uh, for deer. So what this basically provides, as, as you can see, we have ourselves a cut tree. We have another cut tree over there, but we have cut trees throughout here. Now what this provides is an extra, an extra layer to that edge in order to have animals hide better in some of this stuff and not only do we cut down the invasives we will eventually put poison on them and i'll uh, i'll show you what poison i put on mine um, but not only does it, it we cut them down we get rid of them but it allows sunlight to come in and for any of you who took basic biology uh sunlight is what basically fuels the plant it's its food pretty well so it needs that in order to create food through photosynthesis therefore you need sunlight so the plants can grow so that's all we're doing really is providing sunlight getting rid of um, invasives and creating habitat while doing it well guys I'm gonna go ahead and put this camera up I'm hot and sweaty and lugging this around while trying to cut quickly is very hard but uh i hope you all enjoyed this video i know it's supposed to be real quick concise so you all can grasp it for those people who can't sit still in their seat just like me and uh we're gonna get to cutting again but thank you all for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye